What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook and today, today honey, we are making oxtail and butter bean in the kitchen fast season simple. Make sure you subscribe if you have not and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss another upload. And for all I'm returning good, you don't know some love or not, you ready to cook? Well come on, let's cook! Look what prayer can do! Hypocrite and bad mind must flow. The same out what tear for you. And the same one them would turn round and boo. Yeah. Pray me I use and win. Pray me I use and win. Alright, good day. Let's cook. We have our oxtails here. And I have about two and a half pounds of oxtail. Which I had sliced in the pieces that I so choose. Now in the supermarket, you definitely can find chunks oxtail chunks but when i'm cooking oxtail this is how i prefer to have it done now i did already remove 95 percent of the fat on the oxtail i kept some of it on because we're going to need that for added flavor all right now we want to wash these oxtail and i don't know for for those of you who have that followed me for a long time on a know so when me i cook meat or any kind of a poultry in my kitchen I have to wash the daylight saving time out of it. So here is what I'm doing. Now on the cold running water, I added some salt to it. Added some lemon juice or fresh lemon if that's what you have or lime. And then I added some white vinegar. Now, you know you can always substitute out the vinegar of choice. But this is the one that I really like to use when I'm in fact washing and cleaning up my oxide, right? now you just want to be sure that you kind of rub the meat really really nicely just to get out of that yankee yankee stuff off of it because mm -hmm, me don't no like them type of thing there right and just go ahead and just the process is to make sure that when you're done washing the oxtail okay the water is nice and clear all right nice and clear so be sure that you're doing that and good if you are watching me this far that mean you're curious and you want to see what the process is and the ending process so just make sure to so subscribe if you have not subscribed and turn on your post notifications so that way you will always know when I upload brand new videos okay now what we're doing here is removing all of that yankee yankee stuff off of the oxtail and we are going to repeat the same thing that we did earlier that too is always the charm so again on the cold running water only we go ahead and give it a nice little wash off and it, as you could see on the oxtail the difference so far the um the lemon juice and the vinegar combination with that salt it gives it already a nice little color and so you don't know so the thing clean but you're going to wash it again for a second time okay so just repeat the steps here and um, I'm just going to go ahead and speed up the video right here because it's really like common sense from this point, right? Alrighty. And um, I just want to say thank you for all my new subscribers. I do notice that I gained some new subscribers. Even though your girl is not uploaded as frequent as I am, I did gain a few um, subscribers. And thanks to everyone that showed love on my um brown stew jamaican brown stew chicken video we have made it to 1 million views and if it wasn't for you guys that would have never happened okay so i thank you for all the love and support now here we're adding the salt the lemon juice and we're adding the vinegar again now the only difference with this second step we are going to just cover the oxtail up right and I usually cover it up and let it sit for about 30 minutes or so, at least 30 minutes. The longer, the better. After that time goes by, you're definitely going to notice an extreme difference in the color of the oxtail, all right? Um, and again, on the cold running water, you want to let it run. You can see that the vinegar changed the color of the oxtail. That is exactly how you want your oxtail to be looking. This way, you know for sure that your oxtail is nice and clean. Yes, goody. We are going to wash the daylight saving time out of the oxtail, all right? A lot of people say they don't want to clean their meat in their kitchen. But in a fewy kitchen, in a goody kitchen, 
meat have been washed nice and proper just like that same way so now that i'm happy with the color of the oxtail and i know that my oxtail is nice and pretty and clean we are going to season up this thing now the seasoning is very simple i added some um some salt right just so um i'm going to definitely list the amount that i use and what i use for the recipe in the description to check it out added some black pepper here and to the salt and black pepper i'm going to use my maggi seasoning all-purpose seasoning here and of course you can substitute that out for whatever kind of all-purpose seasoning that you have in your kitchen now i'm definitely going in for my oxtail season here and i'm using the ultraious brand simply because i love everything ultraious right and of course there's other oxtail season that you could substitute that out now to the oxtail seasoning i added the onion powder and i did use less onion powder than i did garlic powder i always use more garlic powder in my meats or whatever that it is that i'm cooking now of course you want to add some paprika the paprika is going to give it an extra color even though we are going to give it the browning color i'm adding paprika to it anyway here i have some cloves I'm using about a teaspoon or so of cloves and add it into the oxtail. Now, what I'm going to do to jazz it up, y'all, I'm adding in some um, jerk season here. You could use the powder mix. I'm using about two tablespoons of jerk season here. And because um, I'm not pepper friendly like that, I'm using the mild brand here. And of course, if you don't like spice, we can go ahead and use spicy yes goody now i'm also going to add about a teaspoon of pimento seeds pimento berry which some of you might call it that or if you had the powder mix you could always use that one as well if you're choosing to use the powder make sure you add about a half teaspoon or right, because it's very strong okay now what i'm doing here i'm going to add some garlic and i'm using a lot of garlic to the recipe y'all because more garlic is the better and let me tell you something garlic good for you inside and out i make you look young forever mm -hmm. now if you're using um chopped garlic you want to have about three tablespoons of the bottle chopped garlic but here i use about eight or so maybe more garlic um cloves and i'm going to use some later chop it up nice i'm also adding some fresh ginger here and then i'm adding some turmeric and i'm chopping that up into tiny pieces because honey when you put that into the oxtail you're definitely going to give it a nice flavor here and i'm going to go ahead and dice up one maybe a medium sized onion to it just chop chop it up all nicely and add it to the mix and then i'm going to add one large tomato here slice it up nice and add that to the mix Now, next thing you want to do is go ahead and pour all that season out on the oxtail. All right. Just like so. Add your browning because um, that's going to give it the color. I did about a teaspoon um, of browning, but just don't have too much of it, guys, because once you overdo it, you can't take it out. So just add about a teaspoon or so, depending on how much you cook, you could put maybe a tablespoon. But just know that you could always add your browning. If your color is not dark enough at the end of the recipe okay um let's give it a nice little season up like I'm doing here um, I did allow it to sit for about 30 minutes if you have time on your ends you could let it do overnight and it's definitely going to give it a nice um, extra added flavor but I am going to be using my pressure cooker for this recipe so there wasn't no need to, to uh, make it uh, marinade for a long long time but this is what it looks like y'all all i'm going to do here is go ahead and wrap it nice and tight with some plastic wrap and let it sit on my kitchen countertop at room temperature for that 30 minutes now after 30 minutes is all done here's my um slow cooker um and my pressure cooker all in one so we're going to go ahead and add this beautiful seasoned smelling good oxide into the pressure cooker here and it takes about 30 minutes to cook 
um, in this pressure cooker, all right? So we we'll go ahead and put that in. Now, what you want to do um, is add about, I say maybe four cups of water to it. And again, it depends on how much oxtail you're cooking. I am cooking um, two and a half pounds of oxtail here. So I'm adding uh, four cups of water to my pressure cooker. I just added the water to the container that I used to marinate the oxtail. Um, and I used it, it just come in like a, a chicken stock. I, I, I know, like a beef stock, yeah. Um, so there you go. That's how it looks in the in the pressure cooker here four cups of water My pressure cooker have a, a measuring thing on the inside so that way I don't mess up my thing But there was four cups of um, liquid added to the oxtail Now all I'm going to do here is go ahead and um, cover it up nice and tight um, and just uh, set it to cook for 30 minutes and again, y'all, if you're still here watching me, please go ahead and hit that subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that way you will never miss any of these amazing uploads, y'all. They're always pretty good. Now, after my oxtail is nicely done, after that 30 minutes, that is what it looks like. My oxtail is a very tender y'all um and it smells amazing oh my goodness that grape is looking good but we are going to thicken it up so all i'm going to do here is um transfer the oxtail from pressure cooker to stove top but y'all know that if you're using the pressure you could always finish up your recipe here by adding your additional stuff that you need to add and be sure that you thicken your gravy using cornstarch. But I will show you how I complete the recipe on stove top. All right, so I added the oxtail to the stove top here. All right, be sure you subscribe guys. Don't forget to do that. Now, it's simple from here, okay? after you subscribe hi <laughs> now again we're going to give it some extra additional boost of flavor here so this time i'm cutting another medium-sized onion but this time i'm not chop chopping it up i'm just slicing it adding some scallion to it two stalks of scallion i did slice that up um for the recipe and then i'm adding quite a bit of thyme because thyme is essential thyme make everything taste better adding some bell peppers here i'm choosing to use green but of course you could substitute out your color of choice i'll let them taste the same trust me mm -hmm. i just color different then i'm adding some more garlic because garlic is fabulous and garlic is healthy and i'm adding some more tomatoes some people don't put put um tomatoes in them oxtail but me love tomato in my oxtail yes good day same way so then after i was done doing that i went ahead and added the uh veggies to the oxtail all right um if you want to add some pepper you could go ahead and add pepper here but i did not add any hot scotch bonnet to the oxtail all right because you don't know set me free the pepper okay so anybody will eat this i gotta add them own pepper when they when we serve in at the plate but go ahead and add your scotch bonnet goody if that's what you like now we're gonna go ahead and add our butter beans on top we also want to be sure that we season up these things so i added a little bit of ketchup some maggie seasoning to it um a little bit more onion and garlic powder um to it just 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 go ahead and, and flavor it up y'all and just make it your own um just to give it just to make sure that your vegetables is well seasoned i did add some more of the combo season and oxtail season and all the other good stuff all right and i also did um add black pepper as well but try not to uh, bother the, the, um, the butter bean too much. Once you add the butter bean to it, you don't want to bother it too much. You just want to be sure that because you don't want it to sink at the bottom of the pot. 
you want the, the butter beans to stay on top. Just add your black pepper to it and cover it up and let it simmer for about 30 minutes on medium heat. When you come back, you're going to have something that looks like this. Okay. Now the gravy is perfect. If you want to leave it this way, you can leave it this way. But for me, me like when my gravy have more of a smutter type of a feel to it. Now this is what you want to do if you want to move on to that step. And again, I repeat, if you want to leave it right here, you can leave it right here. But I don't like watery, watery gravy. I like a smothered gravy. So now, in the middle of your pot, you're going to uh, make sure that your spoon is turned up. In that container, have a teaspoon of cornstarch. I'm going to add a tap bit of water. So let's just say you added about a tablespoon of water to a teaspoon of cornstarch. Mix it like so, and then you pour it directly into the spoon that you have sitting on the upright right there just pour it right in on the spoon right after you do that you want to go ahead and slightly mix it right in the middle see i'm doing it slightly just like that okay and then after you've done that in all corners of the pot you combine it into the middle that is where your cornstarch is now, for some of you, you might say you don't have cornstarch. Of course, you could use flour, but I have to tell you that flour gives it a different color and texture. So be very careful um, on how much flour that you're using for the recipe. The flour does take away from the flavor, but the cornstarch has absolutely no flavor to it. So it gives it a better bind as far as making using it to make your gravy, okay? And that is it y'all it is all done here after you had your cornstarch let it cook for another maybe two minutes because cornstarch cooks very fast it cooks faster than flour does but that is it two minutes of cooking and your oxtail is uh, finished y'all finished and the whole smells amazing these oxtail are so tender they were falling off the bone and I wanted to be sure that my oxtails kind of stay on the bone and not falling all the way off the bone y'all so I definitely um was very gentle with it okay but you can see how that gravy is nice and it just sticks on to the meat the flavor is to the core look at that y'all perfect perfect you're definitely going to love this recipe. I've had a, I have several different oxtail recipes, but for some reason or the other, I always tend to switch up my oxtails when I cook it. I like to cook oxtail one way all the time, but at the end of the day, it is oxtail and butter bean. Give it a try, y'all. You're going to love it. All right? But you don't know, so your girl, I don't know, don't know yet to know. I had to put this on the plate so you could see how it looks on the plate too, okay? And there you have it on the plate, y'all. These oxtails are so beautiful. The color is amazing. I didn't have to add any more brown into it because it did what it had to do. But overall, everything came out spectacular. I just um, mixed it up with some rice and peas. Um, I had some ramen lettuce and tomatoes and all that good stuff and it was done here i'm adding um for the side drink that is beetroot and ginger and that was a, a lemon yeah lemon juice oh my goodness this was done y'all if you want to um see the recipe for the the beetroot and the ginger juice just let me know and i'll definitely do one but it's pretty simple y'all but that was it and it's all done be sure y'all to give this recipe a massive try and look how tender the oxtail is falling off the bone y'all give it a try tell a friend to tell a friend bring them come and send them come i'm waiting and when you get done doing that tell me what you want to see me i cook next in my kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy